Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake with Cutflow Prints. Today is day two of setting up a 50 plus 3D printer print farm within the confines of my garage and home. On the agenda today, I'm hoping to get a couple of these A1 combos set up uh, and ready for printing. So let's get started. So my goal today is to get three of these printers set up. Again, most likely until I get um, some type of bracket here to hold these AMSs. Um, it's just not, it's not going to work with three, but I'm going to unbox three, uh, put them together and get them staged, kind of see where I'm at um, and go from there. So let's get to it. So, and these are the tables that I'm going to be using. Um, I have a space that I'm setting up for um, live shopping, social shopping um, that I'm going to get into and in, uh, you know, some upcoming videos very soon. Uh, basically, you know, what I'm planning to do with that. Um, and again, all the other avenues um, that I plan on selling these prints on. And again, this is a, a full transparency page. You know, there there are, you know, a bunch that are kind of, I, I feel a bit more gatekeeping, right? And, and rightly so, you know, they are like, hey, I don't want everyone to know my prints because then everyone will sell my prints. Uh, my understanding and, and my philosophy is there's so many potential buyers out there. Um, that it really doesn't, you know, do harm. You know, I, there's way more buyers than sellers. Um, and that's why I have no problem being transparent with every single thing. The prints uh, that I plan on printing, where I plan on selling them, uh, we're going to walk and work through step by step on, you know, the different settings, uh, how I receive the files, if there's any tweaks that need uh, to be done, uh, a truly comprehensive step by step guide on doing this um, so you know again my goal today is to get three of these a1 combos set up and running so that I can begin printing products and getting them ready uh, to sell so will say from what I've seen um, bamboo does a great job at uh, packing uh, their products for shipment So again, basically, probably going to end up putting on a time lapse as I blow through these. This isn't necessarily a, you know, step-by-step -step, um, on how to put these together. I'm actually, during the time lapse, going to be watching a video, um, refreshing on how to actually put these together. I've watched them before. Uh, they seem very uh, simple. There's a lot more steps than if you have, you know, your standard P1P. Um, or your P1S, X1C, um, but nonetheless, it, it's pretty straightforward. Entire bag by the handles. This allows you to fully pull all of the parts from the box in one motion and set aside. There are parts on the sides of the foam, so make sure you remove these before disassembling the rest of the packing material. On the printer frame, this slides out easily and it can stand up on its own with the large plate facing downwards.
I know, trust me, it looks very crammed. Um, I'm gonna have to do some like final adjustments to see if I can even pull this off. Um, I'll give it a shot. You know, like I said, I'll, I'll make sure everything's kind of has the ability uh, to to work freely. Uh, move this over a bit. If if not, um, I will try to find a mount for the AMS here. Something, something creative to get three because two is, is just a waste of space, especially when you're not dealing with uh, much to begin with. So, um, pretty much got this down pretty good. I'm gonna time this next one and see how quickly we can do the last one. Almost just short of 18 minutes. I mean, two seconds short. I also had to mess around with some things. I, I noticed uh, an item or two that I didn't uh, do with the other printers and like, you know, by no means is this a rush. Uh, this isn't really something you wanna rush, um, nor did I feel like I was rushing. I just really wanted to see knowing how it all goes together. Um, you know, typically how long it should take me um, to put them together. So again, you know, it's anywhere from 17 to 20, 25 minutes, depending on what's going on, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, it's cost of doing business, right? I mean, um, it's my labor right now, so I will fundamentally know how to put these together. Uh, and once you know, you know, how things go together, uh, it, it helps with problem solving. All right, so we did it. Uh, there are the three. Let me flip this around. There are the three A1 combos. Again, you know, it is pretty tight. I'm gonna check all the um, clearances, run everything. You know, if I have to come up with something creative here uh, for the AMSs, I will. But tentatively speaking, it definitely all fits on there. Uh, stay tuned uh, because the next step uh, tomorrow, you know, I'm going to uh, get these calibrated, turned on. So stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to set these up, turn them on, get them calibrated, uh, and see what happens, see what we have to do. Well, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Uh, there is more to come. Uh, you really are on the uh, ground floor of starting this business with me. You'll learn everything uh, as I go. So you too can be successful with 3D printing. Till next time, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you guys on the next one.